I'm Dan Ackerman and we are here taking a look at the Dell XPS 18. Uh, at first glance, this looks like a computer on kind of the smaller side of the all-in-one spectrum. Uh, it's got an 18-inch screen, but then you grab it here, you lift up, and look at that. This has actually got a battery in it, which means it's a really large tablet or a smaller to mid-size all-in-one, depending on how you look at it. We've actually seen a couple of these systems uh, before. Sony has the VioTap 20 with a 20-inch screen. Asus has a Transformer all-in-one, also with an 18-inch screen. Of that first kind of grouping of these, this is definitely the best to date because the Sony uh, tablet, even though it's only a little bit bigger, weighs like 12 pounds. This thing is under 5 pounds, whereas the Asus version, when you remove it from its dock, it switches over into Android mode. It's very confusing. Don't even get me started about that. Now, for $1,300, uh, that's kind of a lot to pay for an 18-inch all-in-one, especially one with laptop parts and integrated graphics. Uh, you do get uh, this big weighted stand right here that acts as a power charging dock as well, and they throw in a uh, keyboard and mouse. You can trade down to less expensive versions that skip the dock. You can buy it separately and that have like a Core i3 CPU as opposed to an i5 or even an Intel Pentium-class CPU, which I would really avoid at all costs. Now, you are paying a premium to be one of the first people on the block with a combination tablet slash all-in-one. There's a few reasons why you'd want to do that. Uh, you can just pick this up and take it into another room of your house to show someone the video or share some photos or do some tabletop gaming, which is actually kind of fun. Um, I really wouldn't take this out to the coffee shop or anything. It, it's too big, and the battery lasts about four hours. Uh, not really enough for carry-it-with-you style computing. Just like almost every laptop now has a touchscreen, whereas last year it didn't, uh, I think we might be looking at a possible future where pretty much every all-in-one becomes a detachable uh, screen with a battery built into it. Now, it hasn't happened yet, but once Intel's next generation of chips comes out, and if people start buying these as opposed to traditional all-in-ones, I think you're going to see a continued hybridization of big screen tablet and all-in-one, and frankly, walking around with a big, gigantic tablet is actually kind of fun. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Dell XPS 18.